Hello and welcome to my weekend reading vlog. I just got out of the shower, it's around 9.30 p.m. and I'm about to finally get cozy and start my reading for the weekend. I am hoping to read around three books this weekend, but fingers crossed, but let's see how that's going to go because I am quite a slow reader, which is definitely something I'm okay with. I don't have a problem with that at all, but I just want to dedicate time to reading this weekend because I feel like my reading has been quite um, sparse this couple of weeks. I haven't been able to focus on a book for long periods of time and I definitely want to change that. I am currently reading Don't Fear the Reaper by Stephen Graham Jones, which is the sequel to My Heart is a Chainsaw. And I don't have a lot left on the book. I only have about 50 pages left, so I'm pretty confident that I'm going to be able to finish it tonight. So before I get to reading, I just want to take a little bit of time to talk about what this book is about. Since this is a sequel, I obviously don't want to give anything away, so I'm going to talk a little bit more about the first book in the series. My Heart is a Chainsaw is a story about this young girl called Jade, who she has been through a lot in her life. She's only in high school, but she has dealt with a lot of trauma so far. At a very young age she found her passion and her love for horror movies and that's really the only place that she was able to find peace somehow. Her favorite genre within horror is definitely slashers and because of that she is pretty convinced that a slasher cycle is about to begin in her hometown and she's trying to warn everyone that there's a slasher cycle that's about to begin in her hometown and no one believes her and us as readers because we know that Jade is not okay we don't really know when things are actually happening and when they're just happening inside of her head that's also what makes this book more of a slow-paced thriller it's not your average, like, fast-paced, action-packed, everything is happening at once, big reveal thriller. It's more of like a literary thriller where the story really takes its time to develop. There's so much packed into the story. So with all of that being said, I'm just gonna go make myself a cup of peppermint tea and grab some snacks and finally get to reading. As you can probably see, it's the next day. I finished reading Don't Fear the Reaper by Stephen Graham Jones last night, and I really enjoyed it. The ending was really good. It was very layered. I feel like every time with the story, um, there are so many different aspects of what's going on and so many ways in which it needs to be solved. It's never just like one person that is responsible for everything there are so many factors playing into why the crimes are happening but there is some like magical realism in both books so be aware of that if that's something that you don't enjoy i think that it worked for me i really liked the way in which things pan out and the way in which the magical realism plays a part in the story but I know that this is not going to be for everyone, so just keep that in mind. The author has a very unique tone. He has a very unique way of telling the story, and I really like it. It can be quite chaotic at times, but like I said, once you get used to it, the story becomes extremely immersive. I have so much care for these characters. Like, I worry about them. I want them to be okay. I want these things to stop happening to them. It was a really fun time, but I am glad to be done with it just because I am ready to move on from the gore. Like I said, it's quite a gory story and I'm happy to move on to something else because um, my dreams were being really weird while I read this story. But I also think that that has to do with the fact that while I was reading this, I was also watching 
all of the episodes from Yellow Jackets. So I think that messed up with my brain a little bit and my dreams were just like completely crazy. And yeah, I'm really excited to pick my next read. I have no idea what's going to be in it yet, but I'll update whenever I have something to update. So at the beginning of this vlog, I said that I was going to dedicate as much time as I could to reading. I was going to just settle down with a book and just read for the whole day. And apparently I'm a liar because my partner woke up and then I started talking to him. We started playing with our dog and I was only able to get through like 20 pages of the fifth season. But I am really enjoying it so far. It has a really interesting narrator because they break the fourth wall a lot. So they'll talk to you as the reader and I'm really enjoying this. I don't know if I've ever found this on a book before that I can like remember off the top of my head. So I'm really liking that. But the reason I turn my camera on is because I'm about to get ready for the day and I want to show you what I've had been reading on audio. So I am about 35% the way through Remarkably Bright Creatures by Shelby Van Pelt, which is this really interesting and really whimsical story about this woman who is extremely lonely in life. She has gone through a lot of pain. She lost her husband to cancer. Her son has been missing for a very long time and at this point is presumed to be dead. And she doesn't really allow herself to get close to anyone because of all of the pain that she has already been through. And she works at this aquarium. And in this aquarium, there is this octopus who is also a narrator in this story. He has more intelligence than humans give him credit for. So he is part of the narration of the book. They are forming this beautiful bond and our main character is starting to feel happiness again and connect to another creature in ways that she hasn't done in a very long time. And I don't mean this romantically, I just mean this in like, um, you're not alone sort of way. This is the fit for the day and I read about 4% of the book while I was getting ready and I'm honestly loving this book so much. I'm about to start making dinner, so I thought I'd come here and make a quick audiobook update. I have listened to about 40% of this audiobook so far, and I am absolutely adoring the story. I feel like it has the potential to become a new favorite of mine, which always makes me super excited. I love the themes that it's exploring. I love having an older main character that has gone through most of her life already, but is now finally allowing herself to live again. I love that idea. I love the narration of the octopus and there's something else that I forgot to mention in my last clip and that is that there is another character in the story, another perspective that we follow and at first I wasn't sure how this perspective was going to fit into the rest of the narrative but now it's starting to come together and I really enjoying the picture that is forming. I have some theories that of course I'm not gonna share because I don't want to spoil this book for anyone but I am loving it so far and I'm really excited to listen to it while I make dinner.
I have finished eating dinner, I took a shower, I put my comfy clothes on and now I'm ready to hopefully read for as long as I can tonight. almost afternoon everyone we are about to head out to go to the dog park but i thought i'd come here first and do a quick update on where i am with both books the audiobook and the fifth season i am about 150 pages into the fifth season right now and that's where we get like an interlude in the story and i am really enjoying this book so far i'm still loving the narrative style and i feel like now i have an understanding of the world i understand what's at stake i understand how the magic system works in this world and um, it's really really fascinating it's really interesting i'm starting to grasp the dynamics of the world of the political system and everything that it involves i feel like this story is going to just keep escalating and i think it's going to get better and better and i honestly feel I feel like both the stories, both books that I'm reading right now have the potential of being five-star reads for me, which is super exciting. Same with the audiobook. I'm still loving the story. I have just confirmed one of my theories. I am hoping that the story is going to be more of like on the wholesome side rather than on the sad side. I feel like it could go both ways. And if it's wholesome, I feel like it's going to be emotional but wholesome. But if it's sad, it's just going to devastate me because I care so much about all the characters in the story, including the octopus. I am really loving both. I'm excited because they're very different type of stories, so it's fun to go back and forth between them. I'm excited to see where both stories are going to go. So after the park, I'm definitely going to do some more reading. I did get a little bit of reading in, but I'm not gonna lie, I got really sleepy and started dozing off while I was reading, but I will read more after dinner. But right now, it's time to start cooking and listening to my audiobook. my camera for two days now a day and a half and I quickly realized that I really need another one of these and extra batteries so Amazon just came through I just got out of the shower as you can probably tell I finished eating my dinner I made myself some tea it's like a chamomile turmeric and mint tea I've never actually had it before I bought it a while ago I completely forgot I had it so We'll see how it goes, but the biggest thing is that I am ready to settle down and read for the night and hopefully I'll read more than I did last night because 
I kind of got super tired and read less than I was supposed to or less than I intended to, but that's okay. What matters is that I'm really enjoying the story and I am going to finish it eventually. everyone I'm filming this on Monday which means it's the end of this reading vlog but before I finish off the vlog I did wanted to do one last check-in and let you all know how much I read what I'm thinking of the books I'm reading what I was able to finish how many pages I read and just wrap everything up I was able to read 468 pages on this reading vlog which I'm honestly quite happy with I know I said I wanted to finish all three books and I only really finished one but honestly I try not to put too much pressure on myself with how many pages I read because when it comes down to it what matters to me is that I am reading and I feel like if I force myself to get through a certain amount of pages in a day or two days just because I feel like I have to I end up not enjoying the book as much so at the end of the day I just want to enjoy these stories and as long as I'm reading I'm really happy with my progress no matter what that is Final thoughts on all the books I read Don't Fear the Reaper is a very solid thriller it does take a little bit of getting used to it with the writing style with the tone of the story but it is really really well crafted like i said it tackles so many different things and i feel like those characters really stay with you and they do feel like they exist somewhere in the real world as for remarkably right creatures i have listened to 78 percent of the audiobooks so far which added up to 168 pages i wrote it down so that i wouldn't forget and I am loving this story so much. It's... I don't have much else to update. I feel like the story is just progressing the way I was really hoping that it was going to. Of course, we still have a lot to go through, so the story could take a turn. I'm hoping it won't. I'm hoping it's going to stay in the emotional side, but the positive and wholesome and something good is going to come out of this emotional but we'll see where the story is going to go i am loving it i feel like this story is going to make me cry over an octopus which is never something i thought was going to happen so i cannot wait to finish it and for the fifth season i realized that i didn't really explain what the magic system of this story was and i feel like it's mostly because i didn't understand it myself but now I have a better understanding of what's going on because I did read 250 pages of it. Essentially, the magic system is kind of like Avatar, like the animation, where the main characters, which we are mainly following three main characters, are all capable of bending the earth. Um, they can use their magic to like quiet down earthquakes or to even create natural disasters but they are not really accepted into society because people do see them as like doomers like they're going to create a terrible natural disaster if they're not happy if their emotions overtake um, and things like that but they are extremely powerful and i'm really curious to see whether or not they're going to come together at any point and how the story is going to progress from that because there are two other books in the series so i'm curious to see where their story is going to go i will say that with this book something really rare is happening i feel like whenever i read a story where there are multiple characters that we are following along i usually have one or two that i don't really care for that much and that like i just want to get over with their pov i feel like this is not happening at all with this book i feel like i'm equally invested in all of the povs and i want to know what's going to happen with all of these characters which is honestly great because it means that every part of the story feels engaging to read and that I'm really enjoying it. So overall, this was all I read this weekend. I'm quite happy with what I read because like I said, I enjoyed myself. I am loving these stories. I feel like it was a very positive reading vlog where there wasn't anything that I didn't enjoy. And that was it. I apologize if this video is not perfectly filmed or if the editing is not great it is my first youtube video i have a tiktok a book talk where i post a lot more content but this is my first attempt at youtube so bear with me if you have any suggestions if you 
uh, enjoyed anything in this video that you think I should keep doing or anything that you would like to see from me if you feel like you enjoyed what I'm doing here I would love to hear from you because like I said I'm just starting I'm still learning so bear with me if this isn't perfect just yet I'm trying my best and if you liked what I'm doing please consider giving my video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel because I'll be posting a lot more in the future. Bye-bye!